What's up travelers? In this video, it's the first recording of the year, 2024. Happy New Year, how's everybody doing? As you see, this is a bit different than my normal stuff and there's a reason for that. So I went out to try to record the video I wanted to record today. The place was randomly closed because of a hot water heater situation. I wasted half a tank of gas and wasn't able to film the video I was looking to film. And then my, my backup plan, I went there and they had their music up way too loud. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to film there. So I just ended up coming home and, and I figured, yeah, why not? We'll have a video where we address a few things. So that's what we're doing. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that uh, 2023 was personally not a great year for me there was a lot of loss there was a lot of just a lot of grief in general dealing with my dad's estate and I'm still continuing to do that I am uh, working through his gigantic autograph collection uh, getting things authenticated and listed on eBay if you are interested in celebrity autographs or whatnot I will leave a link down in the description where you can go to the eBay page and check it out. If something is there that you like but it's a bit too expensive, go ahead and make an offer. Uh, what's you know The worst I can say is no. There's a good chance that I might say yes because I am just trying to get through it so I can finally get back on the road again. 2023 was a hard year. Sure, I was able to get to Vietnam and Thailand for a couple of months and that was that was great it kept it kept this channel going now I'm back I, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get, be traveling again that really sucks uh, I don't like that unfortunately I, I had to uh, quit focus on my business and everything that I was doing on the side that was making me money so I could actually be on the road when I was out doing things this channel does not make money at all I've uh, since 2018 I've made almost five hundred dollars it's definitely not paying the bills i'm definitely spending a ton more money on this channel than i am getting back in rewards <laughs> yeah as of recording right now we are at 2030 subscribers so that's pretty exciting i am hoping that by the end of this year we will be able to sniff that 5,000 uh, subscriber mark. That would be so awesome. That would be more subscribers. That would be almost a thousand subscribers more in this one year since the beginning in, to, in December of 2018. And that would be amazing. So one of the things that, I, that I'm kind of really kind of wanting to say here is kind of I want to get past this thing uh, this field of negativity that I was in most of the last year dealing with all the the stress and the rigmarole dealing with my dad's estate I want to be positive recently there has been a YouTube legend who back in February of last year he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer his name is Brian Barchek and just the other day he posted a video is saying goodbye to everybody. Brian is one of those guys who started out just for the love of animals and reptiles and things like that and he started out making these little tiny clips back in a time when nobody really cared you know but he just he just knew he was like I'm just gonna do what I love to do and I'm not gonna let anybody get in my way not gonna let anything get in my way of accomplishing my dreams and that was his mindset he had built a, a reptile zoo it was something that, that so many people wanted to go see he touched the lives of so many people he made so many people find the reason to love animals that they thought might be a little bit disgusting or creepy or whatnot it was absolutely amazing and then right before he got diagnosed 
he went and he financed this big warehouse that he was turning into an aquarium. And uh, right after he broke ground to start renovating, he found out that he had pancreatic cancer. He got so close to being able to see his dream be a reality. As I'm recording this right now, he's still alive, but he's on hospice, and, and we're probably never going to see him in, in any new videos again. And, you know, that makes me super sad. But the thing is, is he put out this like legacy that is a legacy that pretty much all of us we can we can grasp onto and we can be like you know what he did things for the right reason he did things because he believed in himself he did it he didn't look at it for a reason to go and I'm gonna make millions of dollars or any of this kind of stuff. He did it for the love of what he was doing. Ever since I started this channel, it's been the same thing with me. I started back in 2018 and it was about coffee. This channel was completely about coffee. You know, traveling coffee guy was the name of this channel. It was awesome, I started traveling the world, learning about the way they do things with coffee culture in different parts of the world. I went and I, I picked coffee beans off of the plants. I, I learned how to roast coffee. I even started my own coffee company. I was importing coffee and selling it. And I don't know, I kind of lost track of, of what I was doing and, and I got tired. But the coffee thing, coffee channel was still there. But I, Right before COVID, I moved to Vietnam to go be an English teacher, which, you know, in my travels, I found out that I absolutely adore Vietnam. Vietnam is one of the best places in the world, uh, as far as I'm concerned. If I could choose a place to live, then definitely it would probably be Florence, Italy, but number two choice is definitely city Vietnam. I absolutely love that city. It is home to me. Back to, off on a little bit of a tangent there, uh, back to what I was saying though. When COVID happened, I was in Ho Chi Minh City and the world shut down. I got certified to teach English as a second language, but unfortunately I was never able to use that uh, because as soon as I, as soon as I got the certification, the world shut down. We like went into lockdown. In Vietnam, the, the the COVID lockdown was crazy. We weren't able to leave our apartments for three whole weeks, and not even to go outside. We had to order food on apps. And at the time, I was a vegetarian, and I didn't read Vietnamese. And uh, I had these little tiny thumbnail images in the app that I could just see what the food was, but I couldn't really tell what it was. And one time I actually, the order that I got ended up being chicken feet and chicken heads. And, and, and that was crazy. And, but because of that, I was ordering food and I wasn't getting anything that was vegetarian, but I was spending the money on it, so I had to eat it. And then I ended up not being a vegetarian anymore. As time was going on, I, that's when I started, well, I was in Vietnam, I started kind of doing some, some food reviews because I figured, you know, the people that were watching my channel, they might be interested in, in the different cuisines and stuff that, that were available over there in Vietnam on the street. Yeah, that's, that's where it all kind of started. I ended up getting really sick while I was there from, I ate a scorpion and then the next week I was just violently ill. It wasn't COVID, but it was crazy. And, and the illness made me loopy in my head. And then I ended up buying a plane ticket back to the States. And then I got back here and then I took off as soon as the world started opening up again. And my first trip after that, I went to Greece. And every time I drank a cup of coffee, it ended up making me shit myself. <laughs> Which uh, isn't, isn't a good thing. And I was like, oh my God, I got something medical going on with me. So I better, I better deal with this. And I linked it to the coffee. I still drink coffee now, but not anywhere near like I did back then. I think it was probably for the better. I, um, the I've definitely seen a lot more viewership since I made that change. Back to what you know, the Brian Barcheck, you know, his his whole not letting anything get in your way. 
that doesn't mean you don't have to pivot and and change things a little bit because you know we we live life things happen you know sometimes we're gonna go through some hard times that's where we decide if we're gonna be successful or not it's during these hard times you know are we gonna just stop doing what we love just because we have a hard time or somebody says something that really gets under our skin um, which I have done in the past as well. Uh, back when I was in my twenties, I was in I was in a band. We were called Headless Aggression. I was the singer for the band, and one day, one day the drummer and I we got in this argument, and he just told me that I sucked, and and from then I just I just shut down. I walked away from it, and I ended up going and becoming a band manager and a concert promoter and all that stuff that was adjacent to being in a band, but it wasn't really my dream, you know? And then I ended up getting into this this mindset that I was a concert promoter, I, I was a band manager. And then we got to the point with, with the band that I was managing, they were called Blood to Dust. Here's a little bit of what they sounded like. But what happened is I ended up getting them um, a show where a and r representative from a big label was going to, to show up. And at the same time I was going through some medical problems, I had a surgery that I had the same day of that show, so I wasn't able to make it and hold things together. And then when I woke up from the surgery, I found out that one of the members of the band didn't show up to the show, so the show got canceled. And then the band got blackballed. I got blackballed out of, out of uh, promoting, and it was it was bad. And it sent me into a, a time of this super deep depression. I got suicidal, and I had made the mistake of thinking that being this music producer band manager, concert promoter was who I was instead of what I was doing. So I ended up having an identity crisis. Because of that I got suicidal and luckily some things happened that ended up saving my life because I was about to do it. But after that I went in and changed my life. I went, I went back to school, I uh, learned the coffee industry and I thought I was going to be in the coffee industry for the rest of my life. And then all of a sudden, you know, things started changing again and changing again. And instead of just giving up on it and walking away from it, I just pivoted. And by this time, I was doing the YouTube thing. And I had found really what I love to do, which is travel the world and uh, show you guys the things that, that I'm experiencing. You know, so sometimes in my videos, yeah, I, I'll go to a temple or or another tourist attraction, and a lot of those videos, they don't do very well. You guys don't care so much about those videos, but you know what? I make those videos really for me, but also for you, right? Because the experience is what I'm trying to capture. And, you know, a lot of times, yeah, I, I, I admit it, I'm I'm not very good at that kind of content, but you know what? I love making it. So I make it, I still put it out. Since I got back from Vietnam and Thailand this last time, which I left because I was in a really bad place mentally after my dad died and, and going over there, spending time in some of these temples, spending time with some of these monks, it really, really helped me to move past the grief of losing my father. My father was my best friend of all time and uh, it's 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 weird not being able to talk to him every day almost a year and a half later now and I'm okay as far as that goes but other than that you know I, I when I came back I just ran into all of these problems financially my business just fell on its face just out of nowhere which was part of the reason why I just decided to pivot away from that for a while while I'm focusing on 
on my dad's estate. Now I'm delivering pizza. You know, it's it's a fun job. It, it's it's getting me, it's helping me from not having to file for bankruptcy, which is another thing I never thought I was ever going to be in danger of doing in my entire life. But here I am. And <laughs> recently, like, yeah, I've been making a few videos here and there, and I haven't missed an upload. But the a lot of the stuff that I'm making here in in the area, like it, it, it doesn't really excite me very much. But I'm trying to find places that do excite me. That that I want to show you guys in case you guys are coming into Washington and you want to go check some of this stuff out, or if you're going down to Portland, you want to go check some of this stuff out. I'm trying to find that stuff, but it's expensive and and i it's it's hard to get there and make a video all the time sometimes we're going to have some of these talking head videos i mean they're not going to be like this one i think i'm going to give some travel tips i'm going to do some other stuff and i think i'm i may even try to to do the the amazon affiliate thing again to see if they'll accept me up uh Speaking of which, new year, new microphone. What do you think of the, the audio capabilities here? I mean, it, I think it sounds a lot better. I think my audio problems are a thing of the past now, and that excites me. That's that's an exciting thing. I, I got the Rode Wireless Pro microphone. I highly recommend it. This thing seems to be a pretty awesome microphone for any creator, honestly. So uh, if you're looking for a microphone for, to make your own videos or, or pretty much anything you might need a microphone for, this is the one. It costs about 400 bucks. You get two microphones and a receiver, and it seems to work amazingly. I absolutely adore this microphone, and this is really the first time that I've used it. It's great because... As I'm recording, I'm able to watch the levels of the audio from across the room, and I know when I, that I'm getting really good audio. A lot you might not know this, but I am an audio engineer, and that's why, like, with the last year of videos, I've had absolutely horrible audio, and it's because I've been I, I record with my phone, right, and I have been looking for a good microphone to go with my iPhone and it has been a journey there just hasn't really been anything that I've been able to find I've been looking for a Bluetooth microphone so one that I don't actually have to plug into the phone and I don't understand why it's not available we have the technology it's just like it seems like the microphone companies don't want to use it for some reason I don't know what it is, but this is the closest thing that I've been able to find to it. Uh, the receiver is magnetically attached to the back of my phone on the MagSafe right now, and it's still plugged in, but, you know, at least it's not just something dangling off of the, off of the back of the phone. The problem I was having in Vietnam and Thailand is the microphone receiver was just this little thing dangling off of the, the charging port of the phone and it kept breaking on me and it caused me to have really horrible audio and I am so glad that that is done and over with. Hopefully the next version of this microphone they do finally go Bluetooth because wires Wires suck when you're making when you're a content creator. You know, if you're out in the field, you're shooting videos at restaurants or or other places like that. You don't want a bunch of wires hanging off of everything. That just sucks. <laughs> we got this new microphone. I can't wait to get out in the field. I really wanted to use it in the field today, but that just wasn't something that was going to happen. Hopefully next week I'll be able to go and make that video that I was wanting to make. Um, unfortunately, the place is closed tomorrow and then I work all week after that. There are a few other places here somewhat locally to where I'm at that I do plan on making some videos at. But I want to do more stuff in Portland. I want to do more stuff up in Seattle. Because between Portland and Seattle... There really isn't 
a lot of interesting stuff to go film as far as restaurants and stuff go. Yeah, I could maybe focus on Vietnamese food or Thai food or, or something like that, and that would just kind of niche me down. But at the same time, I don't want to do that because I think if I just start focusing on that, you know, I think it's going to get stale and boring for me and probably for you as well. Like I said, I will probably do more talking head videos that would be like travel tips, like how to get through TSA as easily as possible or you know, how to pack for a, a carry-on only trip, stuff like that. With those, hopefully I'll be able to get an Amazon affiliate link. Speaking of which, Amazon affiliate link you might not know how those work. The way they work is if you have a content creator that has an Amazon affiliate link and you're getting ready to buy something off of Amazon, if you go to their affiliate link and you click through their affiliate link and then go buy anything that you want on Amazon, whether it's one of those $30,000 tiny house things that they have or a pack of gum or something, it doesn't matter. The creator that you go through their affiliate link is going to get a percentage of that sale and that will help out all of the creators that you want to support. And it's really not taking any money out of your pocket and it means the world to those creators. Anytime you're thinking about buying something off of Amazon, find your favorite creator, go into their descriptions, find their affiliate link to Amazon if they have one, click through. I mean, quite frequently they're, they're pushing something like, if I had the affiliate link, I would be pushing this microphone right there, and, and, and that link would take you to that microphone, right? But you wouldn't have to buy that microphone. That's just your starting point. You, so you go in, you find that microphone through the affiliate link, and then you say, okay, well, I need, I need a bottle of Windex. So then you go and you order a bottle of Windex. Oh, and then, and then I need, and then I need a box of Pokemon cards. You know, and then you go and you buy a box of Pokemon cards. Well, after that, you know, your, uh, your creator ended up getting a check for for like five to seven percent of whatever you paid for and i don't know i think that's a pretty good deal so it's something to think about i am not currently an amazon affiliate but uh, that is how it works and i'm definitely thinking about getting in on it again because like i said earlier this channel is not paying for anything <laughs> uh yeah five hundred dollars in about five years that's uh i mean it's better than nothing i guess <laughs> all right well if you've enjoyed this video i understand if if it's been a boring slog or whatnot <laughs> but if you have enjoyed this video uh please this really does help us out and with the algorithm. If you hit that like button, it tells everybody, it tells the algorithm to, to send the video out to other people who haven't touched our content and that really helps us in the long run. Hit that like button and then if you haven't subscribed and, and this video has given you some value or entertainment or whatnot, just hit that subscribe button because that helps a lot too. Again, the goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers this year, so I need about 3,000. And uh, oh, that would be so exciting. I would like to end up doing some, some giveaways. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up yet, but I will do a giveaway. Let's say 2,500 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. It will probably be something that I've picked up on on my travels or something else i may it may be a gift card to a cool restaurant or something like that who knows we we don't know <laughs> we haven't felt that we have that just came to me right now so yeah let's, let's let's do something like that but let's let's get to that 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 2500 uh mark so we can be halfway to our goal uh of 5000 that would be amazing so yeah like button subscribe that notification bell 
Yeah, I don't know if that works or not. Uh, I've I've got some notification bells turned on on people that I'm subscribed to, and sometimes I get a notification when they upload a video. Sometimes I don't. I think it's kind of a stupid thing that YouTube has us put all of our viewers through this whole rigmarole and of stuff like come on youtube you know if they want to watch our videos or not let them see it <laughs> hopefully you're interested in what i got to say and the food the food content that i got the travel content but if not i appreciate you taking the time to check out this video chase your dreams catch your dreams and as always eat great food